Hey everyone, it's Ben Hardy here, and in today's video, we're reviewing a Toyota Tundra Platinum with the TRD off-road package. Before we get in this video, I want to give a huge shout out and thank you to the Larch Miller Toyota here in Murray, Utah, for giving me some time with this truck. I'm going to include a link to their website in the description down below so you can check out what they have currently. And then on a side note, if you want to save time and money the next time you purchase a car, link to my car buying guide in the description down below. Let's get into it. Under the hood, we have a twin turbo 3.4 liter V6 that goes through a 10 speed automatic transmission. Fuel economy 17 around town and then 22 on the highway with power outputs being 389 horsepower and then 479 pound feet of torque. Now, before we move forward with this review, I do want to mention if you want to see more videos just like this, then I recommend you subscribe because I post content every single day. So taking a look at the hood, you guys can see really cool metallic flake here in the paint. I'm gonna notice it's raised on either side. And then coming down below, we've got the Tundra's nice LED of lights, and then you guys can see the little kind of like venting down below. It looks cool. TRD here on the grill. Notice the grill's metallic gray, and then you guys can see Tundra down below. Putting it all together, I do like the looks of the Platinum with the darker colored trim. It just has kind of, I don't know, I think a better look. Coming around the side here, our tire wheel setup is 265, 60, 20 in the front and over in the rear. And you guys can see we've got the TRD style wheels. We also have the Falcon Wild Peak all terrain tires as well. And then I love the fender flares, they're painted. That looks pretty cool. Platinum badge here on the side. Then you guys can see with the mirror capsules are body painted. Same thing with the door handles. And then another part of this TRD off road package is the Bilstein shocks. And then here is the full side view with the truck. You guys can see the TRD 4x4 off-road decal there on the back. Now here's a quick look at the key fob. We have our lock and unlock function. We got the lowering here for the tailgate as well. Now popping into the bed, this one has the composite bed from the factory. We also have some LED bed light action and we have a full power outlet here in the bed as well. And then with the tailgate, it's actually pretty easy to lift up. And then being a platinum, this has a little button here on the side to also lower down the tailgate. Here's a closer look at that 4x4 decal, and then you guys can see here with the tail lights, and then all of our badges and everything in the back are darker. Got the little kick step there at the bottom, and then you can see parking sensors as well. And putting it all together, let me know your thoughts on the looks of the Platinum here. Now take a look at the door panel, you guys can see sunshade here, built in from the factory, and then look at the trim here at the top of the blue stitching, and then also down below as well. And you can see the darker trim right here, I think it looks cool. And then here are the seats that continue that theme with all of the blue inside. And then since this one's not a hybrid, do have the storage underneath the seat. Now legroom back here is really good. We also have a little storage pocket, some cup holder action, heated and ventilated seats. We also have some charging ports as well. And then headroom back here, it's good. Now here's a quick look at the front door panel. You guys can see again with the soft touch here and then we get the blue stitching down below. And then all of our window controls here with our mirror adjustments. Mirrors do power fold in. We also have our memory seats and then blind spot memory with the mirrors. Now our payload capacity is 1300 pounds. Then you guys can see here with the seats and it's perforated all down the center and you get the blue stitching and all of that. Um, power adjustments here and everything on the side. Look at the pedals as well. And then you guys can see here with the heated steering wheel that's turned on the outlet and so for your collision assistance, auto stop start, all of that. And then the steering wheel is power adjustable. Now take a look at the steering wheel. You guys can see perforated on either side. I mean, you've got that kind of like cowhide texture here at the bottom and at the top as well. And then stitching around the airbag cover. We've got adaptive cruise control controls on the steering wheel. We've got controls for the center stack, voice command volume controls, and then your regular stocks here on the back. Full digital gauge cluster here in the center and we've got our drive mode select. So because this has the TRD off-road package, it not only has this on-road drive mode select, but it also has the multi-terrain select, which is an off-road drive mode select. And overall, I think the full digital gauge cluster is pretty cool. And then this also happens to have a heads up display. Now in reverse, we've got the big 360 camera system. So you guys can see the bird's eye view here and then look at the trajectory lines. And then you've got all of the different viewpoints here throughout the truck. Resolution is really good. We also have the off-road viewpoint, which you just press this little thing here and then it'll change to that. So I think that's pretty cool. And then as for the infotainment system itself, we've got this shortcut bar here on the side. Um, response time with it is pretty solid. And you got padding here on the dash, again with more blue stitching. That's the theme here. The Platinum is all the blue stitching. And then we've got analog controls here for the dual zone climate, the heated and ventilated seats. Got that for the radio as well. And then your backup assistant for the trailer. Trailer brake controls, by the way, over here to the side. Camera system, stability control, hazard lights, and that's for the rear locking differential. 
Got our parking brake and our auto hold and then TRD shifter. Pretty cool looking. Wireless phone charging pad, some more storage in this area here. Drive line select. Notice we got two wheel high, four wheel high, four wheel low. And then a drive mode select here with our tow haul mode. And then you can see multi-terrain select and then your crawl control as well. And then look at this here at the center console. Got some nice trim on the top. Got the little window and then good storage inside. And then while we're on the topic of storage, glove box, yeah, pretty big. And then up top, we get our control here for the power sliding rear window, and then our controls here for the panoramic center. Now here's a look at the window sticker. You guys can see 2024 Platinum. Um, we've got all the standard equipment, some options on this particular one. Total MSRP, 70,677. And do, 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 do. let's see how it drives. Well, let's talk about visibility before you set off. Here's your visibility over the hood and hopefully you can see the heads-up display. Both the mirrors, still blast monitoring throughout the rest of the rear. And let us set off. So this is gonna be a little bit of a shorter drive. Um, I just drove another Tundra earlier today. Um, and on top of that, we're, I'm also gonna be reviewing more Tundras, uh, another Tundra tomorrow. So <laughs> gonna keep it a little bit shorter because th at the end of the day, this isn't really gonna drive too different. I just want to be able to focus on the points, uh, the platinum points, basically. But we'll still get a little drive in. Um, first off, this one obviously has the standard powertrain, right? It's just the iForce, not the iForce Max. And it's a good powertrain. Um, I, I'm a huge fan of it. I love how it, I love the torquey feel that it provides. And on top of that, I like the sound. I think it sounds really good. I mean, look at this. <laughs> it's quick. Like it, it really does feel strong. Um, I'm, a, I'm a big fan of of the powertrain. And then the suspension with the Platinum, I mean, again, with it has a TRD offered package, it's comfortable. So fun, so much fun. Um, yeah, it just, it drives really well. Um, the new Tundra is a huge improvement over the previous gen and compared to other full size pickup trucks, like again, it drives really well. Um, it's one of the most comfortable and a big part of that. It's got multi-link in the back end So it's got that going for it yeah, but Damping with it's just it's so good. Um, so yeah, I understand shorter drive, but here, here are the uh, here are the main points um, Platinum, I think it looks cool gives you all the luxury features and it's not nearly as expensive as the capstone edition and so it's just a, if you're wanting your top line luxury, this isn't the best value. The best value would be a limited technically, but if you want a little bit like a, of a nicer interior compared to a limited, um, then that's what the Platinum provides. It's similar to like Ford's Platinum, right? Because you look at the Ford F-150 limited and it's like, you gotta really want the limited to get that. Whereas you look at the Ford Platinum and it's like, you get all the stuff that you get in the limited pretty much, but at a more reasonable price point, this is kind of like a, uh, similar situation to that but let me know what you guys think about the platinum let me know what you guys think about the new tundra but um, i think if you're looking for the luxury tundra this is going to be the sweet spot but if you want value the limited is still going to be the value player because it'll give you all the same equipment this has the interior just won't be as nice like this isn't gonna be soft touch i think this well that's hard touch anyways but like you just won't get the soft touch up here basically not as you know, again the trim is going to be not as fancy as what you have here on the platinum let me know your thoughts